Hey, Dr. Juice here. What if I told you we have a new fish scent this year? And it'll help stop global warming. And it'll help you catch record fish. It already has. It's called the Dr. Juice Shrimp Scent. Well, it's got some shrimp ingredients in it, but the main ingredient is dimethyl sulfide. It's, the, it's called the climate cooling gas, but it also brings in fish. What it does, it's given off by phytoplankton. They're getting chewed by the zooplankton. Zooplankton are out in the Great Lakes and the oceans. They eat the phytoplankton or algae and it gives off this dimethyl sulfide, DMS. But so why is it stopping global warming? It's because of the CLAW hypothesis, C-L-A-W. You can look it up. It goes up into the air. It creates clouds, the sulfur nuclei create clouds, the sun can't hit the ocean or, or the lakes, they cool down, the biomass of phytoplankton goes down, less DMS produced, less clouds, the sun comes down and beats and warms it up. It's a cycle, it's called homeostasis and that's what's in this bottle. But that's not why it's in the bottle, it's because predators know that there are bait fish around. This happens to be what we're using on the Great Lakes, smelt. smelt are eating the phytoplankton, the zooplankton, giving off that smell of DMS. And that's what people use for their bait. And, th but, but that's bringing in the lake trout. Caught some great lake trout using the, the shrimp scent. Shrimp is one of the largest biomasses in the Great Lakes. It's called mysis. It's not really a shrimp, it's called a possum shrimp. But it's giving off, anything that eats phytoplankton is giving off the DMS. It's the smell of food. It's the smell of the food web, and that's where the fisherman wants on his lure. This has been shown in scientific research. Penguins find their way to the bait fish by the smell of the DMS. They smell it, they go over there, and then they feed. Also, loggerhead turtles. I did some research out in Hawaii uh, this year. I sprayed some on a rock to bring in fish, but it brought in a great big green sea turtle shrimp scent based on phytoplankton scent actually and there's been research that oh Christ here he is again anyway almost hot but they've done research on loggerheads that they follow that scent and I think he's coming into it sure hanging out right here with us huh yeah something is attracted him I manufactured this fish scent I just sprayed a whole bunch Oh, on the rock. He couldn't stay away from the smell of the Dr. Juice shrimp scent. But it also brings in whale sharks. And they follow, they actually eat the phytoplankton. But everybody wants to be where the action is. And that's where you want that's what you want on your lure. Because that's where you want the fish to strike. Because you're the predator out there trying to get the fish. It's also research been done on harbor seals. They stick their nose in the air, they find out where the bait fish are, and that's where they're going to go. Also, mahi-mahi, the, the larvae find their way back to their reef by the smell of DMS coming from other fish eating on the reef, eating the phytoplankton, creating DMS that goes off into the water. Seabirds, everybody who fishes the ocean knows you want the radar to find the birds. You're watching where the birds go, because where the birds go, like shearwaters, they're smelling the DMS. They're traveling back and forth, just like a moth, finding the, the trail. And they, they get in on the school of bait fish. And then obviously the fishermen follow it, because they want to know where the school of bait fish is, because that's where the tuna is. We've got some great tuna. <laughs> Oh, All right! Woo! Well, we got something in the boat, Doc. Yeah! Tuna were following that smell, knowing where those bait fish were. The Akuli is the main bait fish there. You can see in this diagram how the birds follow a trail, how the eel follows a trail, how moths follow a trail, and salmon. Actually, here, the salmon, the diagram shows them going up and down in the water column so they stay in the plume of the odor. This odor, of course, is to find their way to their natal river 
So take a look at some of our other YouTube videos on the sense of smell, dissection of olfactory organs, how your fingerprints are repelling fish, long lining with lead core line, and, and copper line. Also tips on catching rainbow trout, how sharks smell, some, some action footage that you should check out. But try the new Dr. Juice shrimp scent and you'll help stop global warming. Who could be against that?